Hey family, what's good? Y'all already know who it is. Today's video is dedicated to one of the fam out there again. Like, yo, Thesis loved the last video. I wanna see your process though, and how you actually do like your sampling with Serato and your boom bap. This is gonna be dedicated to all the fam. And of course, this poll right here shows the proof. So you guys keep it locked, stay tuned. All right, so first, before we get started, I want to shout out a couple of people. So shout out to all these people right here. So first of all, I want to say that uh, I love to do my sampling in Serato because it's so much easier. And the drum pattern that I've constructed right now is throughout a battery. Now, usually I use Empire Breaks. That is a go to right now. If you guys haven't checked out that video, please check out that video right there. And this one today, I decided to use um, battery and I haven't used battery in a long time. So what I did was I separated all my drums. And of course I went through and used specific sounds. So I wanted my sounds to be individual. I know there's another way of doing it, but this is an easy way of me just duplicating the different batteries and then picking the sound and playing like that so I can mix each sound individually. But right now I am going to show you guys the drums and then I'm going to show you the effects I put on the drums. I already have a sample downloaded, but let's check out the drums real quick. All right, that's the kick. And this is the snare. And then I add a snare reverb to it. Just basically just copy that snare. And at the end of the fourth bar, I just added a reverb to it. But you'll see it. See, so you never see it yet because I don't have effects on. So we're just going through the drums. All right. Then I added a nice little percussion. Now, usually I don't do my drums first, but in this case, you know, when you're doing like modern hip hop or a sample bass, you usually find a sample first. And I did find a sample. I'm going to show you guys the effects, though, that I did for these. And what I will do is I will play it now so that you can hear it without the effects. And then I'm going to turn the effects on one by one so you can see the actual difference in what it does when you put effects to your drums. So in the hi-hats, I got a ping pong delay. So I want you guys to hear the percussions right now because I want you to see the actual difference. It makes a huge difference in the mix, it really does. So this is without the effects. This is with Somatics Origin, right? And then I added Pancake to add a rhythmic pattern to it. Then when you put it all together, so huge difference, right? Huge difference. Now, also, I've already bust my drums, so what you're hearing is the effects without the actual bust, um, which you know just basically pulls the drums together only thing i haven't used yet in that is oh actually i did i added more punch to it so, so i want to uh, go over a, a sample i went ahead and downloaded a sample uh it's a cool sample so what i did was i went through and i just found some chops so these are a couple of the chops So those are a couple of the chops that I went through. And what I did was uh, I found a nice little groove. So it's, it goes like this. Right? 
right and as you see i put the release on when you put the release on it makes it smoother easier to transition to the next chop and a lot of times it all depends on how you chop like sometimes you want that choppiness for me i like my you know samples to go directly into the next chop without having that glitch so i'm gonna play it with the drums and let's just see where it goes So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and we're going to copy this over, paste it real quick, because then I'm going to add another piece to it. So let's do this, copy it one more time. And then now I'm going to go ahead and add another part to. All right. So let's go ahead and record that in. Next, what I would do is I go in and throw in a uh, let's throw in a bass. Uh, let's see. All right, cool. I think I found the baseline I want to put, so let's go ahead and put that in. So that sounded about right. So that's basically, you know, pretty much how I would do it. If you guys like this video, please make sure that you drop a like on this video. Also, don't forget to make sure that you go down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the process. This is one of my workflows and what I usually do. So it all is a preference on your production style, your workflow, things that you're used to, things that you're used to hearing. Uh, definitely, definitely look forward to seeing some results come from uh, anything that might have helped in this video. But thanks so much for the request and look forward to the next one. Until then, you guys already know who it is. It's your boy Thesis. Peace.